guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Bath and Body Works empties for the month of May, which disappeared very quickly. So yeah, there's not that many, but I am just going to jump right in and get started in no particular order. The very first item I used up, this is the Energy Aromatherapy Orange and Ginger Body and Shine Shampoo. Um, yes, I don't have the conditioner because I still have a little bit left. Um, anyway, so this was okay. I don't think I would repurchase it. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, cleansed my hair just fine, like, I don't know, made it smell good, but nothing, like, super remarkable. Like, n it's not like I, like, got compliments on the scent, or it's not like it felt like it really lasted. It didn't really do anything very special to my hair. Um, I probably would not repurchase it. It, it was just okay to me. Um, yeah. So that's first up. I did also finish up a hand soap. This is in Blueberry Lemonade. This was in my bathroom. Um, yeah, for some strange reason, I'm like going through soaps a lot faster. I don't know why. Um, this scent was okay. I did enjoy it. I don't know if I would purchase it again though. Nothing wrong with it. It just, it kind of has an odd, a very tart after scent. Um, like when it's like on your hands and everything. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't a bad scent. So I don't know if I would repurchase it. Most likely not. <laughs> Um, anyways, okay, I have a candle in single wick. This is in the lavender and vanilla. I really, really love this scent. Um, it was like a medium throw. You could definitely detect it. I, um, was burning this in my room. I would definitely repurchase this. It's like a soft, um, baby powdery scent almost. It's very calming to me. Very peaceful. Um, I really like it. The only thing that's annoying about the single wicks, this one was a little bit sooty. Nothing horrible, but, you know, it did have some. But I feel like the single wicks have so much wax left. I don't know if, like, that's just me, but, like, compared to the three wicks, they have a lot left. But overall, this was a good scent, and I would repurchase it. Next up, I do have another candle. Um, yeah, the whole label, like, fell off. This is in Tropical Spice. This was, okay, I really liked this. Um, at first, but then right around the halfway mark, as you guys can probably tell, it started to get really sooty and like the wax, um, got all like gross and like dark and gray. This is like, like a cinnamon and vanilla type of a scent. I do like it, but the performance was not very good. I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because I know that I could get like more tried and true cinnamon, vanilla e type scents that do perform better than this. So again, not a bad scent. Um, it's just the performance wasn't all that good. And then also at around the halfway mark, it did definitely start to get puny wick syndrome. Um, but yeah, it was about a medium throw, but I don't think I would repurchase it. It just wasn't, the performance wasn't worth it. I did also use up a pink chiffon um, ultra shape body cream. Yes, yes, I am now obsessed with cutting open my products thanks to multiple YouTuber YouTubers here. Um, yes who do Bath and Body Works videos. That came out kind of backwards. But I absolutely love Pink Chiffon. I love it. This is one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. It's so feminine, so like sweet and girly. And every time I wear this, even if I just have the body cream on, I always get compliments, usually from guys, but sometimes from women also. I absolutely love this product. Highly recommend. I will always repurchase this. Um... I do have a little, or I like a travel size, the Rose Quartz per, um, Perfume Spray. This is pretty old. I don't remember even exactly when I got this. I want to say maybe like three years ago. This was just okay. I don't, um, I'm not like the biggest fan of Rose. It's definitely just like a rosy scent, um, like a light floral, I would say. Nothing, nothing, you know, very special about it though, in my opinion. Maybe if you like Rose though, you'd probably enjoy it. Um, I would not repurchase it though. It's older. I don't know. Um... If you would be able to find it anymore. I also have a hand cream in strawberry pound cake. Again, yes, I did cut them open. Um, Catherine here on YouTube and multiple other YouTubers tell me all the time, cut them open. So if you guys aren't doing it, please cut them open. <laughs> There's like so much more use in there. Um, I really enjoy the scent. It smells exactly like the name says, um, like a strawberry pound cake, basically. This is just sweet and delicious, and I really enjoy Bath & Body Works formula of hand cream, so I would highly recommend and definitely repurchase. I do have more in my collection, so I'm quite happy about that. I have one wallflower. This is currently still plugged in in my bathroom, but it's mm, it's more than halfway on, so, so you know I'll just include it in here. It is a the um, sea salt and lime. Um, wallflower. Honestly, I know I've said this before, but like I really am actually, once I finish up my wallflowers, going to stop purchasing wallflowers. In my opinion, they don't work that good. It's not like below the halfway point. Um, 
I, I can't smell it anymore. It was really good when I first plugged it in. It was definitely like an interesting, very like, very strong, very fresh um, scent and I really enjoyed it. It says it has chilled lime, fresh eucalyptus and sea salt. Um, yeah, you definitely, definitely smell the sea salt very strongly. But to me, this the Wallflower's performance, at least in my opinion, are not really that good. So I don't think I would recommend this, um, this like particular form, but I do enjoy the scent. Um, and then the last two items are not Bath and Body Works, but I just thought I would include them. I do have a um, lip scrub from Lush. This is in the Funfetti Cake. Um, this is delicious. It really is like, it's like a, like a cake vanilla-y type of um, a flavor, I guess, if you will. Really good. Really sweet. Um, it tastes delicious. Um, yeah, this is basically just to get rid of like the dead skin on your lips and just to like exfoliate. These are quite pricey. Um, sometimes though, I will splurge and get one. Um... And then the last item also from Lush, this is an um, Snow Fairy. This is a body spray. I don't usually use many of Lush's body sprays, but I really enjoy the scent Snow Fairy. It kind of is similar to Pink Chiffon, except more cotton candy-ish, more bubblegummy than that one. Um, definitely more younger, if you will, more like fantasy-ish. Um, it reminds me of the fair, basically, like a carnival. Um, really just sweet, very girly, very like fun and useful. Um, it's not a bad scent. I do enjoy this scent. Um, again, I've also received compliments when I've used this spray in the past. Um, I would purchase it, but only at 50% off, which in case you guys don't know, they do do that sale after Christmas. But yeah, their body sprays are kind of pricey, so I don't think I would buy it for full price. So that is it. As always, thank you guys for watching. Definitely stay tuned because for the month of June, I should hopefully have, um, quite a bit more empties than I have had this month. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well. Bye.